Hello, thank you for joining me today. This is Karen with Creative Paper Artisan. And this project is the design team project from March. And we are using the Irish Rose Traveler's Notebook Journal Kit. And um, I thought um, that this project would lend itself very nicely because the whole kit is, is more tall. Um, but this is even smaller than a traveler's notebook. This is a bookmark journal is what we're going to call it. <laughs> so let me just do a quick flip through so you can see what is in store. All right. So we just flip open here, flip open here, flip open here. And then each little panel has its own little journal. How cute is this? I just did it with um, book pages, just, just so it was visually interesting. You could certainly do it with regular paper, so you can actually journal in here. This could be a tiny little journal that you can tuck into a regular size junk journal. How fun is that? Or it can be its own little thing. So go grab yourself a cup of coffee or your favorite drink, whatever you prefer. And um, I will be showing you how this cute little journal is made. All right. Okay, so let's dig right in. I made this template for you so that you can maybe take a screenshot if you'd like. Um, because this this was very helpful for me. I had to I had to write everything down before I actually made it. <laughs> so um, the the size of your of your cardstock will be uh, nine by three. I'm sorry, nine and three quarters by seven and a half. And then we're going we're going to score. I just made the lines here for you so you could see. The first score will be at two and a quarter, then two and three eighths, two and a half and then two and five eighths. And we're increasing it each one by an eighth of an inch. And that is so that when we start folding things up, um, there's there's room, there's playroom. Uh, Cause if it's all exactly, then it's gonna end up bulking up and it's not gonna fold very well. So that's the reasoning behind that. <clears throat> and then this, this will be the, the inside, what I'm calling the inside. And then this will be uh, where the cover, the, the second one from the left is going to be where we're going to do the cover. Just just to, you know, a little helpful hint there. I found that to be helpful too. We can go ahead and decorate these ahead of time, but I'm going to wait to decorate the cover panel um, till the very last. So flip this around again. If you want, if you haven't taken a screenshot yet, go ahead and do that. And then let us get started. Um, I <clears throat> went ahead and I printed, you can just use regular cardstock and then ink the edges or whatever. I was trying to save some time and be efficient. So I just went ahead and printed this scripty paper on both sides. I thought it would look really nice with the, the kit that I'm using, which I'll, I will be linking below. It is the Irish Rose Traveler's Notebook Size Junk Journal Kit, and this is the kit that we are using for our design team projects this month. And there will be a coupon code below for, um, for a discount if you want to buy this kit. So, but I will say this paper is not in the kit. This is a, a paper I've made, I've designed, but I haven't released it yet, <laughs> so I'm sorry. Um, Stay tuned for that. I, I'm probably going to do it like a whole paper pack of different colors with these. So it's not available yet, but uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my <clears throat> my scoreboard out. And something that I noticed and I was not thrilled about on the scoreboard, it doesn't have, it just has the, the quarter inch um, marks. And the the little divots don't exactly line up. <laughs> so what I did, let me grab a pencil here. What I did on the template was I'm just going to go ahead and make make a mark where it's supposed to be. And then we'll we'll just put that mark on a groove and then do it that way because um, this needs to be pretty precise. And <clears throat> 
doing it just straight off the board is not, it's not, it's just simply not going to be precise. So here's two and a quarter. And then again at two and three eighths. So one, two, three. And then again at two and a half. And then just to double check, the remainder should be two and five eighths. One, two, three, four, five eighths. Yep. Dunzo. Okay, so now <clears throat> you may not be able to see this on the screen, but I'm just going to find a little groove here that and match that up with my where I placed my line. And then I'm just going to score there. My other line. See, it doesn't doesn't match up, so I have to move it over just a little bit. Okay, I've lost my <laughs> I've lost my groove. <laughs> Karen Karen got her got her groove back. Okay, here it goes. The last one. Okay. And that just makes it easier to fold with uh, when you're working with cardstock, for sure. <clears throat> now, now, well, hang on, I'm, I'm going to erase these little marks. They may not even really show up that much in the end, but I just, I'll feel better if they're gone. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fold. All right, <clears throat> now you see there's a little overhang here. Um, you could, let me see, is that about an eighth? Yeah, it's about an eighth. We could trim it down <clears throat> or we could just leave it because I will be doing a uh, an eyelet right here. And I kind of feel like, I feel like I want that to be a little bit larger. So I'm gonna leave it for now, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let me, okay, so this is gonna be the inside. I'm going to put, I'll write cover really lightly here. Cover, and then I'll just erase it, just in case I get lost. Because <laughs> I, I, I tend to get lost. So, I'm gonna go ahead and um, decorate this one first and we'll just kind of move along. Um, so here, here are the, the papers from the kit that I decided to use. Um, and honestly, these measurements, the, the, the tallness of this can vary. Um, I, <clears throat> when I printed out this kit at 100% or, or had my um, the printer fill the page. You, can, you know how you have those settings on your printer, um, the scaling of it all. Um, setting it at full, um, you know, printing all the way to the as far as it can go gave me seven and a half. Um, you can do it a little bit shorter, um, like a bit a bookmark size. This, you know, the the video that I um, watched um, to get this idea that inspired me. She was using um, bookmark. Um, printables. And so they were a little bit shorter, actually. But <clears throat> I figured this was um, a pretty good, a pretty good concept for this kit as well. And just a little bit taller, which is totally fine. <laughs> so, um, so what I'm going to do is on all of my panels, <clears throat> I'm going to um, cut or actually, I think I'm going to rip, I kind of want the raw edges. So I'm going to rip um, a sheet that is, <clears throat> excuse me, um, two and a quarter wide by seven and a half tall. Actually, you know what? No, I lied. <laughs> I don't want it all the way to the edge. <clears throat> so I'll probably do, hang on, I'm a liar. I'll probably do two by seven and a quarter, 
two by seven and a quarter, I think it's gonna work well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these ripped out and then we will come back and play some more. Okay, so I've got all my little strips um, ripped up. You can certainly cut them with scissors. I just kind of wanted that nice kind of a ripped a rustic edge on it. So that's what I decided to do. So now here comes the fun part. Um, deciding what goes where. <laughs> and since this is our cover, I, I haven't decided 100%, but I think I want one of these two to be the cover. I think that's so lovely. And then I can embellish a little bit further, uh, probably with a, a wax seal is what I'm going to do, I believe. Um, so it's going to be one of these two. So I'm going to set these aside for a minute. Okay. So then, then let us start playing with the inside here. All right. So let me see, maybe kind of start with that there. I think that might be nice. Now we're not going to actually decorate this side and this side, but that is because our little signatures are gonna go in there and we'll decorate the top of the signatures. So, but I'm just kind of wanting to get an idea of the layout. Maybe have the two ladies like this. Hmm, I think I kind of like that actually. And then have this like this. Okay, actually, we're actually having three signatures. I'm sorry, one, two, three signatures here. I think that's what we'll do. So I will do that there. And let me just make sure that works with, with one of these. So if I do one of these here, maybe put that one there, put her here, and then whichever one of these <laughs> whichever one of these um hmm, hmm, or maybe like this i think i like this anyway it's going to be pretty no matter which way you're opening it up so um i think i think i'm going to do do that configuration or something something like it all right so this one's gonna go here that's for sure and there's nothing going here except just the decoration so I just printed these out on um, regular copy paper because I wanted to rip them and it makes it so much easier to rip <laughs> um, and because of that I feel like I can use the glue stick without without much problem so let me hang on let me get my scrap piece of paper here and we will glue away now I'm just going to warn you if you hear a bunch of dogs barking I apologize it is spring break here and um, our boarding facility is uh, full to the gills so we've got lots of puppy dogs we've got 70 70 dogs with us I believe right now um so <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of activity going on, a lot of play groups and walks and people coming and going and <laughs> a lot of barking. Actually, it seems like they just they just uh calmed down for a bit, but they were they were barking pretty good. They were playing hard, boy, I tell ya. <laughs> it's always so cute. So cute. Okay, so let's all right, that works there nicely. Okay. So now for the signatures, we want to keep this relatively thin, right? Actually, I'm going to squish this down again with my bone folder. We want this to be relatively thin. We don't want it to be too thick and bulky um, because, I mean, it, it can definitely be its own thing, but it would be actually kind of fun to tuck into a larger journal too, don't you think? I think that might be kind of fun. So um, our signatures are going to be very, very thin, um, just pretty much for just visual purposes. Um, so 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the cover of the tiny little signatures out of my coffee stain paper here. So I'm going to make them the exact same size as um, the, the, the length. So it's going to be seven and a half. And I'm going to, um, I want them to fit in that, in that uh, original two and a quarter uh, width. So doubling that will make it four and a half. So I'm going to cut my little covers seven and a half by four and a half, and then we'll fold them in half. A lot of half, a lot of halves. Okay, so let me get that going here. I may need to get another piece of paper too. Okay, so four and a half, whoops. Four and a half. And another four and a half. Yeah, I'll definitely need another piece of paper. Save that for a rainy day. By seven and a half. Okay. Gotta get my big gun out. Sorry. I love I love my little guillotine cutter. It's, it feels so satisfying <laughs> doing that little that little slice, but that's okay. Um, I forgot I had I had gotten a new blade on here, so it should it should cut nicely. I um I was avoiding this cutter for a while because I couldn't find I couldn't find the the replacement blade, <laughs> but I got one finally. So we'll just fold these in half. These are going to be so. <laughs> It's just so cute. I just love this idea. And I got this idea. Oh my goodness. I don't remember the crafter's name now. I'm so sorry. Um, but I found it on the Graphics Fairy website. Their premium membership. I'm not sure it's found on YouTube. I don't think it's found on YouTube. It's in the, in the membership site. So um, I just thought this was lovely. And because I have this month's design team kit is the Irish Rose, and it's a kind of a tall, skinny, tall, skinny kit, I thought this will lend itself beautifully to this idea. So that's what we did. All right. So now, basically, what we're going to do So we're going to tie in this uh, the signature. We're going to add some more papers, but this is the cover. We're going to tie that in there, or sew it in there. And we're going to sew this one in here, right? And then we're going to sew this one in here. And we're going to decorate those covers. And bada boom, bada bing. Okay. So you know what though? Um, before I do anything else, before I do anything else, I'm going to ink all of these edges and the folds, okay? So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. All right, and I'm back. So uh, I went ahead and inked the all the lines, the folds, and I went ahead and inked the little uh, coffee coffee paper covers too, so. Now what we're going to do, what we're going to do, I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually just glue, uh, glue the covers on these guys here. <clears throat> and then we'll finish with our signatures. So let's do that real quick. Okie dokie. So now, now let's get to the fun part of the signatures. I still can't decide if I want them like this or if I want them like this. Mm, probably like that. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> now that that's sorted. Okay. So now I'm going to grab some book pages and the music pages and such. Um, 
these book pages actually are exactly seven and a half. So I'm going to, I just, I ripped the edges. Um, well, one already ripped like this when I ripped them out of the, the book. Um, and so the other, I just took my little ruler <clears throat> with a raggedy edge and uh, ripped the other side so it kind of matches a little bit. So I think I'm going to do that on two of them. That's for, that's for that. And then, and then I think I will do a tall, tall one like this for one of them. I'll cut it down to size. And then because, let's see here. Okay, I need to. Yeah, I need to cut. I think I'm just going to cut these unless, unless I may make this. I just like how it, look at the, this is an old dictionary and it has the, it's where the tabs were, where the letters were. I think that's kind of cool. Um, but I'm thinking maybe I will make this its own flip out. It's a very soft paper, it's very soft and nice. And actually it ripped, it ripped. A little, a little bit wonky. I mean, it's definitely not a straight edge, but I want to kind of even it out a little bit. There we go. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> um, I think I may do this one like this. Hmm. Okay, let me do one at a time. I'm, I'm overwhelming myself <laughs> with options. I. Okay. So let me trim this this guy down all right so maybe just a little bit shy of four and a half maybe a little shy of seven and a half no that's okay all right so and then okay so this one is going to be a little bit more narrow but that's okay i like the different layers i like the different layers and this is not an old book. This is actually just out of a, a modern novel. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, let's do this. Okay. And then I'm going to do one more. This is so, so thin. It's like whisper thin. Um, <clears throat> so what I will do. Let me see here. I will fold it. Like so. I'm gonna give myself a little guide there. All right. So it'll be like that. But then, but then we're gonna make like a little flippy flappy thing out of it. Oops, I didn't, that's a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Hang on. Hmm, is that gonna be is that gonna work? No. No, silly. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna do it like this. And then like this. And then again like this. Which actually <laughs> actually makes it a little bit maybe a little bit thicker than I intended hang on let me see it's not exactly straight either <laughs> it's a little wonky but hey that's okay all right so then if it's in here and then you can flip it out like this. I think that's cool. I like that. I really like that. So I'm going to leave that. Okay. So here comes the part that we, we get to a little bit of sewing. And if you know me at all, I haven't gotten really, um, really daring yet with the whole sewing signatures yet. But this isn't bad. If I can do it, you can do it too. So this is just some embroidery thread. 
embroidery floss. I'm not sure what you call it, honestly. I used to embroider when I was a teenager. Honestly, I embroidered a lot. I loved it. I would love to get back into it. <clears throat> but um, I feel like a stranger to it right now. <laughs> so I just need enough to go through and then tie tie a little knot in the middle. So let me let me make sure I've got enough uh, of this happening here. Oh my goodness. I think that'll be enough actually. I will untangle that further later. So let me see if I still have the eyesight to be able to do this. <laughs> Success. Okay. All right. So, and I just had six strands and I just kept it at three. I'm going to use three and three. All right. So now I need to just make sure that I've got these lined up where I need them. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I will come around and go in this way. Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, so now let me... All right, let me make sure I've got everything nice and tight. Nice and tight. All right, and I'm gonna tie a double knot. I'm not gonna do a bow because this is so small and I really want less less bulk, <laughs> as little bulk as possible. So hang on, let me get this. And I want it to be a nice, secure. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now just cut a little there. That looks fine. That looks fine to me. Okay. How cute is that? I wonder if this is too much. I'm wanting to pop open, but that may have to do more with this crease needing to be a little bit more. Whoops. Okay. All right. We have a few things poking out, but I think overall it's going to be just fine. All right. So let's do, I'm going to go ahead and do the other two and I will sew them in the same way. And then I'll be back. All right, so all the signatures are sewn in. I've got this cute little one here. And this little one here. And this one I just kept simple, just two pages, um, because it's starting to get a little thick, <laughs> honestly. Um, this, the, the little, you know, triple folds in here may be a little pushing it a little bit too much, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it like that for now. Um, so another fun thing that you can do, and I may do that right now. Um, I just want to add a little bit of washi tape um, to some of these pages, just to add a little bit of a decorative element. So uh, the question is, do I have any that would work? That's that's almost too green. Um, I'm sure I've got some that would work. Actually, this one. Oh, look at this one really goes with that. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm gonna rip a little piece off there. And I mean, literally just, you know, like randomly randomly place some of these um 
That one's not bad either. Let me just, I mean, it's so random. <laughs> like there's no explanation to why I'm putting them where I'm putting them. All right, done, done. I could always uh, add a little bit more, you know, later on if I feel like I need to, but okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the, the little eyelet um, and I'm going to use that uh, to put a, a seam binding through and then kind of make a closure for that. I think now would be a good time to do that. And I do want it to be close to the middle, so I'll go ahead and measure, even though measuring makes me dizzy. <laughs> but okay, so seven and a half, so three and three quarters. About there. Okay, so. I grab my crocodile and I'm going to use the larger setting. So make sure I use the right side here. All right, I want to go in far enough so that when this is set, I'm not right on the edge. So I want to go in probably a little bit, a little bit further in from where I made my mark. But definitely in that region. So let me see here. About. I think I need to oil this thing. It doesn't move very smoothly. Okay, we'll do that. All right, and then we will set. I want the pretty, pretty side here on this side showing. So we'll do that. Oh, and I need to set my, set this to the larger, larger post, and then. Uh, I think this one, I can never decide which one I like better, <laughs> to be honest. And then I, and then I, and then I forget which one it was that I liked. Ugh, I should write it down, shouldn't I? That would be the smart thing to do. So, okay, I'll make it up there and that there. And with all my might and everything in me, squeeze. All right, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Dunzo. And the seam binding color, I think, that I want to do. See, it's getting thick and it's really, really, gl I'm really glad that we did that extra eighth of an inch because that gives us room to fold upon, you know, as it gets thicker and thicker. Um, I think that worked out really well. And I've got some pages peeking out the top here, and I can't decide if that's going to bother me or not. To be honest, I can't, can't decide. I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, so I am going to use, I think, this seam binding, especially if I have my, my cover be one of these two. This is like the darker version of the teal that's in here. I think that's so beautiful. And I'm also going to use this beautiful little Celtic knot seal that I made, wax seal, um, which <laughs> actually works really well with that. Oh my gosh, that may need to be my cover. Or maybe it's too much, same, same. Maybe I need that here. <gasps> oh my goodness, I don't know yet. But anyway, I think it's, uh, I think that'll look nice. And you know what? I want to make this a little bit darker. It's some um, a little bit bright for me. It's beautiful, but for my purposes here, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try something. If I can ink, if it'll hold any ink at all. Kind of make it a little bit, oh yeah, it's a little, it darkened it a little bit. I don't need to do the back. I think that might actually work. I just, I don't know if you can even tell, but I can from here. 
it, it kind of dampened it down just a little bit. So, okay, so let's set that aside for a minute. And then I'm going to use, this is from Haystack Creations, gorgeous seam binding, Vintage Midnight Blue. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so let me do... <clears throat> I'm going to do this. I'm not sure yet how long I need it, so I'm going to just do a little loop here and stick all of it through. <laughs> the whole stinking thing. All right. I'm going to do that. Oh, lovely. Okay. And then I'm going to wrap it around. Maybe this way. I don't know if it matters. You know what? Hang on. Let me try. Let me try this. And then tie it like this. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. And if I tie it in a bow. Mm hmm All right, so then I'll need about I'll need about about to here. Okay. Mm, that's already pretty. Look at that. Goodness gracious, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Okay, so now this is pretty much done, the inside. Isn't that neat? I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's flip over here. Now, I still have not decided. This is the cover side, remember? And I want to do either this one or this one. And with this wax seal that I have, that kind of changes things, doesn't it? Or does it? Hmm. I think I'm going to do some, of course, cheesecloth behind it because I can and let me see if that if that helps me decide let me see if that helps me decide <laughs> squish it up squish it up it's probably too much but do that if I do that oh my goodness graciousness I don't know now. I think I think that looks I think I'll do that. Okay. This this is a little bit a little bit too big. I'm gonna round it just a little bit. But <clears throat> not sure why I'm messing with that now. I'm not quite ready for that. <laughs> not quite ready for it. But yeah, okay, all right. <clears throat> So I'm pretty sure, <laughs> pretty sure this is it here. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to tack this on just a little bit, just so it won't fall off for just a second. And I want to see if, if it matters when I open things, like when I, when I do it like this, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So if this is here and this is here, and that's here and that's here, I think I like her here. And then this one can be here. Okay, that one can go there. She can go there. Hmm, that one goes there. Or maybe she can go here. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to do that. Because this is kind of like, this is the cover cover, and then this is like the second cover. And I like, these are my two favorites. <laughs> so that's what we'll do. There, 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 because she kind of goes with this girl. And then the other one there. Okay. All right. See, I had to 
I had to give myself kind of a, a plan, a visual. Okay. All right. And this one I feel like I need to do something else with because of kind of the half circle that I cut or, it, you know, I had to cut it right there. I feel like it's kind of, mm, I need something. I think I need something. So, um, but that's okay. Let's start with, uh, let me get another piece of scrap here so I can come on the glue. Glue these babies down. All right, so let's see here. Let's see this again here in full swing. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. All right. Something needs to happen here. Let's 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 fix that first. Something needs to happen. Okay. I think, I think I like that one like that. It's just kind of, it's just kind of random. I don't like it. It kind of, I feel like the perfectionist in me is rebelling when I do stuff like this because it really makes no sense. <laughs> and it's like, you know, forcing myself to just be free. I think that's the beauty of art. And that's what perfectionists have a problem with. Sometimes you just you just don't let it flow. And art is the most beautiful when it just flows, I think. So I think I like that now. Okay. All right. This one has some empty space here. I don't know if I want to fill that or not. I don't know. It looks pretty just like it is. It has a nice flow to it. Um... And then these girls, I definitely, this is fine and that's fine. So I'm going to say, let's work on the cover. Yes. And you know what? Because this is the cover, this can be bulkier. There's nothing, you know, this can be bulky. So you know what I meant to do? And I forgot again, because I got ahead of myself. Um, I think I'm going to put lace, a little bit of lace on the ed on the edges. So I may pull this up. It's still, yeah, it's still, I may not pull the whole thing up, maybe just enough to get lace under there, if possible. Ooh. Okay, so now the question is, what lace? What lace? What do I have? Okay, I think I'm going to do this lace. I just love crocheted lace. I, I, I'm always drawn to that the most. Um, and I, I just want a little bit peeking out. So I think I'm going to cut this in half and then put it on each side. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So I'm going to trim it. I think I'm going to trim it after I glue it because... I want to give myself some wiggle room. So, all right, let me get my fabric tuck. All right. Ah. <sighs> How lovely is that? That is quite lovely. Quite, quite lovely. Okay, now let us go back to, where did I put it? <laughs> where did I put my, where did I put my wax seal? Mm -hmm. 
I must see where did I <laughs> where did I put it? <laughs> Do you see it? Is it right in front of me? Where did I put it? Well, you know what I see though. While I'm while I'm looking for that, I just remembered I had done all these little fussy cuts of the shamrocks um, that are in the kit. Actually, these are not in the kit. These are from my challenge this month in my Facebook group. Um, so I was wondering, I just had a bunch of extra, and I was wondering if maybe uh, I could incorporate them into this too, but I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe? Um, but I need, I really do need my, <laughs> I need my wax seal. <sighs> oh my goodness, you guys, <laughs> I knocked it on the floor. I just spent a good 15 minutes looking for this. <laughs> I want to have to admit, oh, it's been one of those days for real. Um, but okay, onward and upward. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, I'm wondering if maybe throw a little more shamrock love in there. I don't know. Um, let's see. First of all, let's ink these guys. That might tell me. I don't like them how I just had them uninked. Inking the edges will definitely, I think, bring bring them to the, the point that they need to be, <laughs> visually speaking. But I still don't know if I want to do... I don't know, I kind of feel like they may add a little something. But then, then I think, ooh, too cluttered, too much. What's happening here, you know? I don't know, we'll see. I might have to trim the cheesecloth down again. So if I have them kind of like this and put that little guy somewhere there, I feel like maybe this is actually double. Maybe if I just take it apart and scruff it up some more. Whoa, that's really scruffed. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean it gets quite so rough with you. It's been a day. Okay, whoops. Ugh. <laughs> it keeps flying all over the place. Oh my gosh, at this point, I just have to laugh. Seriously, it just... Okay, so let's say we do something like this. I just don't know yet. What if we add a little bit of this to the mix? Let me see. Let me cut off a little bit of the... Let's so have to find the end first. Here we go. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that's such a beautiful color. Okay. Let's, let's do it without the shamrocks here. Let's do it without the shamrocks. And just do this with a little bit of lace too, I think, maybe. Uh, let's see if I have scrappy, scrappy bit of cream lace. Hmm, I do. It's not the same lace, but it doesn't have to be. Huh, I think I like that. I do believe I like it. Hmm. Or maybe green. No. 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 Okay. All right. Now, what I'm wondering, you know how I like to scruff up the sorry silk? I wonder if the seam binding will scruff up a little bit like that. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Just kind of, kind of trying to rip the ends a little bit. I think that adds a little bit of more texture, if you're wanting more texture, which I always seem to want more texture. 
Oops. Okay. Now, now I'm going a little overboard here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. I feel like I do want that second layer of scruff, just maybe separately. S separately. Like this. And this. And this. I think I like that. Do I want to add? I don't think I want to add that. No. Nope. Maybe we could add it to the top or to the, maybe we could add it to the pages inside. All right. So then my other question is when I wrap around, when I wrap around the middle here and I tie my bow. I don't want my little seal to be covered up too much. So I may move the whole thing. Whoops, come on now. I may move the whole thing down so that when it's all put together, it all. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So let's <laughs> let's start layering here. Let's start layering. All right, let me get my fabric tack. Just a little bit for the cheesecloth. And then, what do we say this next? I'm gonna glue, glue the inside of that fold too a little bit, just a little bit there, okay. And then here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, and then let's see, how do I wanna have the seal? It's not, this is one of the ones that I, uh, I didn't get perfectly round, but I, I still, I like, I like the way that looks either this way or this way. I think this way. I think I like it bottom heavy. <laughs> um, kind of reminds me of me. <laughs> okay. That there, and then I believe for this, I'm going to use my E6000. So what did I say? Bottom heavy, bottom heavy there. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. I like it. I'm going to hold that there for just a minute. Get this guy back on. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, this is coming together nicely. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, all right. Now, what I'm wondering is if I wanted to add anything to this, these guys might be the ones to put there. Again, I don't want to add any much more bulk to this, so I, I don't know. I may be. Maybe overdoing it now. Let's see. I like those colors. What if I did that with a little bit of cheesecloth? Like super duper thin. Okay. There we go. There we go. And you know what I found when I was trying to <laughs> look for my, uh, trying to look for my wax seal? I discovered that I had these that I, I don't know where. I think this was, yeah, this was a thank you gift from an order that I ordered something from somebody on Etsy. And I never used them. And I'm wondering. I'm thinking, I'm not wondering. I think I've made my decision. They're so pretty, oh wow. They're they're not, uh, I thought they were washy, kind of like sticky with like washy. 
but they're not, but they're tiny little vellum pieces. And I think these would go really sweet. Um, like right there. <gasps> and maybe there. Mm hmm Okay, so I'm going to attach these with the glue stick because I, I don't feel like um, regular glue would do well with this. When I played with vellum before last summer for my collaboration with Rachel and Bella, I was working with vellum and I discovered that glue stick works just fine and then you don't have any weird crazy glue remnants peeking through you know maybe here because it has words on here that I want to, you know, it says smile, breathe, and go slowly. Oh, that's a good reminder, <laughs> especially for me today. It was just, mm, it was one of those days where just everything is just frustrating. Even the smallest, silliest little things, just frustrating. <sighs> but the day is almost done, so... We can start again tomorrow, right? Nice. Okay, I'm glad I remembered that I, I had those. Okay, cool, just another little, you know, this isn't exactly a junk journal, not like a journal that you could write in. Although you could certainly, I mean, you certainly could if you just used blank pages, just did a whole signature with, um, you know, coffee stained paper or just regular paper. Absolutely. Um, but I kind of wanted to make it more of a visual, a visual art journal. If you catch my drift. All right. There you go. I think the back turned out nice, too, with the little funky elements there. All right. Thank you so, so much for joining me. This was my design team project, working with um, the Irish Rose Ten Traveler's Journal Kit. And I will have everything linked below if you want to get this kit for yourself. It's it's really quite lovely. It has um, St. Patrick's Day stuff, but also it has enough just general Irish Celtic things that you can you can just use it without uh the, the saint patrick's day stuff um and just the more light and airy things but they also combine together pretty nicely i think so anyway thanks so much for watching if you haven't yet subscribed i would be honored if you did and um i will just you know keep creating keep coming up with ideas and keep playing and if you want to join me, I am just thrilled. <laughs> so thanks again. <laughs> Bye.